So when we take a look at our room in here, we have a yellow ball. This is an object. We have three yellow balls in our room here. So this is nothing but the copy of an object that we created for yellow ball. So in technical terms, we can call this as instance of object yellow ball. So we have our object yellow ball and here are the instances of the yellow ball or the copies of the yellow ball. So now I need to keep track of how many balls are there in this room and once I've finished catching all the balls I should be able to go to the next room. So the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object yellow ball and I'm going to click on left pressed and as you see you will already have destroy the instance now we need to keep track of our instances. I'm going to go to my control tab and my, in my questions icons area I will see a button with 1 to 3 on it. This button is test instance count. So I'm going to drag this and drop it here. The first thing it's going to ask me is test instance count uh, what object I'm looking for. Right now it says no object so I'm going to select the object and I'm going to select object yellow ball. I need to make sure that the number is set to zero and the operation is equal to. So that means I'm testing the count of object yellow ball which is equal to zero, press OK. What happens if the number of balls in the room is equal to zero? That means I need to go to the next room now. So I'm going to go to main one and in my rooms icons I'm going to look for next room and this button is for my next room I'm going to drag this and drop it over here and then press OK now let's test it I'm going to click start and I'm going to click on the ball. It goes to the next room.